Alright guys, welcome back to another Steam Free to Play review. Today we have It Moves. And if you know me, I really like horror games. That's like something I really enjoy, even though they scare the crap out of me. Oh my gosh, I am so susceptible to horror games. But It Moves is a pixel, like, it's actually got really good pixel graphics. It's not like your average little pixel animation art. It's like super smooth looking. The game plays pretty well. It's mostly like a move forward to your pending doom kind of thing rather than a puzzle game like you would with Rika, which is kind of upsetting because I, I like to have some gameplay in my games at least. But this is kind of like you're just moving towards your impending doom quotation marks. Um, the game like has a really good story. Like if you read like if you read through all the text and dialogue that they give you, which is quite a bit. It adds a lot of suspense to the game. And they do, they instill the fear of like nightmares and like when you're a kid. I like, I remembered playing this game, I got like a lot of nostalgia of how I'd be scared of things when I was little, sleeping in the bed alone. Like this game does like a very good job of setting the atmosphere and giving you that suspenseful feeling and they the author describes this like he just went through it himself <laughs> like this is like a personal experience that he remembers like super vividly because it's given me experiences of remembering it so the first thing i'm gonna say is <laughs> don't waste your time on this game because it's not finished yet i don't know if the author will ever go back and fix it but there is a error at the end of the game i should have said this from the get-go but i'm gonna say it now since we're still pretty close to the near the beginning of the video but yeah, so, the game's not finished, you'll get an error when you get into a certain room, it was like chapter 6 or 7 I think, host you, and that's really annoying, <laughs> so, so, I hate when you're playing a game, and you've gotten so far in it, and then you get this fatal flaw type error, that is literally one of the worst things ever, <laughs> oh, but, yeah, I mean, it was a, it was a good game up to that point, I think I was gonna get, I just like, went goofy <laughs> there god my words but yeah i was gonna give it like a 7 out of 10 i think because it really didn't have any gameplay but the story was really well done the horror aspect was good there was only there wasn't many jump scares but they did add a few which is good because i know people really hate jump scares and they think it's like a really cheap way to scare people but i like them i think it gives you that sense of uh fear that you could always run into a jump scare and it kind of makes you like very timid about your next movements it makes you not want to progress to the game that's a good horror game when they scare you so bad that you don't want to progress anymore because you know you're going to get scared again emily wants to play was a very good example of that i had to get so drunk to play those games to get through them um yeah uh, this game was good though until that happened i'm gonna include the error at the end of the video but gosh, that was really disappointing because I spent about like an hour playing through this game and it's kind of neat because you can interact with the nightmarish creatures that they have and they have like pretty interesting dialogue that they share with you. Nothing, but it's a very linear game. You're basically set on your path. There's nothing that's like a puzzle or anything that's super challenging. You're basically just walking around and clicking things and that's basically all there is to it and then you get a pretty decent story. And it's really, it's the setting, the atmosphere, and the tension they create with the suspense, really well done. But this game's gonna get a 1 out of 10, because like I said, 1 out of 10 is like the rating I'm gonna give something if it doesn't work. Like, point blank period. Even though I, it had a lot of things that I liked, maybe the creator will go back and fix it. I put it in the Steam reviews that it's broken, so maybe he'll like re-release it or something. I don't know if that's possible. But for now, it's gonna stay at a 1 out of 10. Sorry this is a shorter video, but like, I can't really talk about all the good things it did if it doesn't have an ending, and like, you can't get to the end. Maybe it's something on my side, maybe there's something you can do to fix it, but hopefully he'll get back to me in the review column, or patch it or something. But until then, thanks for watching as always, please like and subscribe. Bye!